So this is the Amazfit watch. It is available for a price around that of Honor Magic Watch 2, which I reviewed around a week ago. If you haven't watched that video, do check that out. Now, this Amazfit watch has similar functionalities. Then, what makes it better? Let's find out. Look-wise, it is not the most beautiful smartwatch, I know, but stay with me, you will like it. It is completely made up of plastic, but good quality plastic. Straps are made up of silicon, which are very comfortable to wear. I am used to Xiaomi and Amazfit wearables, so I may be biased towards them, but this is the most comfortable smartwatch I have ever tried. Also, it is very lightweight thanks to its plastic body. It has lift wrist to wake up the screen feature which has accidentally been turned on quite a few times now or it can be woken up by pressing this physical button which is the only physical button on this watch which is used to turn on or off the watch and wake it up. There is no configurable second button like an Honor Magic Watch 2 but Stay with me, you will like it. Lift wrist to wake up the screen doesn't allow us to interact with the watch, but I like it. It prevents falls and unintentional touches and actions. In order to interact with the watch, we need to double tap it when the screen is on. We can double tap it directly in order to wake up the watch and interact with it. It also has a always on display but it is very dim so it is not that much usable under direct sunlight. Pressing the physical button when the screen is on brings us to our very own Alexa. You can ask Alexa anything and it will do it just the way it does on any other device like Amazon Echo Dot. Having a virtual assistant on a watch is a big advantage. You can ask the weather or control your smart home. The limits are, well, limitless. Swiping from top to bottom brings us the usual QS panel like on every other smartwatch in the entire world which allows us to toggle things like silent mode, airplane mode, auto brightness, etc. Swiping from bottom to up brings us the notifications. We can see the notifications, but we cannot reply it at least from the stock firmware. I'll come back to that later in the end. Holding the watch face allows us to change the watch face and there are a lot to choose from. We can change the watch face from the watch directly or from the Amazfit mobile app or any third party app like Notify and Fitness. There is no swipe from left to right so there is no screen or functionality on the left side of the watch face and it cannot be configured. So that's a bummer but stay with me. Swiping from right to left brings us to our app drawer. Here we can find all the apps like health, heart rate, sports, sleep, activities, phone, music control, weather information, alarm, find phone, timer, stopwatch and compass. Going to settings, we can find the connection settings which allows us to change or modify Wi-Fi connection and Bluetooth connection. Then there is common settings which allows us to change language, time format, do not disturb mode, airplane mode, sound setting, vibration and brightness. Then in the preferences we have double tap to wake, lock screen, wrist up, watch face, wearing habit and sports reminding. Then in data we have manual or auto synchronization. Then in device. We can reboot, power off or factory reset our watch. We can update the firmware from the watch itself and we can go to about section to find the hardware specifications of the watch like the name, the model, the ROM version, total storage, free storage, MAC address and things like that. So this watch also comes with an onboard storage to store and play your favorite music tracks 
it comes with a speaker and a microphone so we can also make and receive bluetooth calls via the watch itself speaker and mic quality is not the best but it's definitely not the worst. It's manageable and when inside a room, it is quite clear. Heart rate sensor may be a little slow than other watches like Honor Magic Watch 2, but it is definitely better than others. It works on dark skin, hairy skin, and even if you do not wear it tightly, it still works. As I prefer to wear my smartwatch, loosely for comfort i like this a lot now you may be thinking you stayed with me but you didn't like the watch this watch has the same functionality like the honor magic watch 2 plus it is ugly so why should you like it well now you will because xiaomi and amazfit variables are blessed with community support and development there is a separate xda page for amazfit variables where you can find third-party projects for Amazfit Verge like Amazmod, Project Pace Picator and many others. Also there is also third-party app support in case you do not like the stock Amazfit app like Notify and Fitness, Master for Amazfit and many others available on Play Store. I'll link everything down in the description below. You might be wondering what extra functionality do they add to the watch? Well, they allow you to limit notification spam on your watch to save battery, enable custom map notifications so that you can get map directions on your watch directly, reply to notifications from the watch itself which the stock app and firmware should allow if the watch is capable to do so and clearly it is. And best of all, install APK on your watch to install any app on your watch directly and use it. Yeah, the app should be Wear device compatible but it works. This makes it a Wear OS like smartwatch but with 5 days battery life. Is there a Wear OS smartwatch with a 5 day battery life with Alexa inbuilt and so many third party support with endless possibilities? No. This is what makes me like this watch and this is why I think you will also like this watch even over a watch like Honor Magic Watch 2 which is extremely beautiful, has a better battery and a configurable second physical button. But that's it. You cannot tinker with it. You cannot install any app or modify it in any way like the way you can with Amazfit Watch. So even after not having the aesthetics, I like it for the functionality it provides and for the endless possibilities which makes this a better watch than any of its competitors, for me at least. That's all from this video. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already.